Small Steps, Chapter 11. X-Ray picked up armpit at school, then they drove to South Congress Avenue in search of a barbecue joint called Smokestack Lightning. Somebody by the name of Murdoch wanted two tickets. I don't feel comfortable in someone else's territory, X-Ray had said. How come he couldn't meet you at the HEB? He said he couldn't get away, works from six in the morning till midnight. Armpit thought that sounded a little suspicious. So did X-Ray. That's why he wanted Armpit along. I gotta be at work at one, Armpit reminded him. I'll get you there, X-Ray assured him. Congress Avenue was called that because at its north end stood the majestic state capitol building with its dome and white columns. That's where the Texas Congress met, but only every other year, so they couldn't cause too much damage. Just south of the capitol was the financial and theater district and then the Congress Street Bridge, which crossed over Town Lake. A colony of more than a million Mexican free-tailed bats lived in the cracks and crevices on the underside of the bridge. Several fancy hotels lined the banks of the lake, which actually was not a lake at all, but a river. And tourists would gather at sundown to watch the bats swarm out from under the bridge as they went in search for food. They kept the mosquito population under control. Is Murdoch his first name or his last? Armpit asked as they drove across the bridge. A girl wearing very short pants and a bikini top was jogging with her dog. Woo-woo! X-ray shouted through Armpit's open window. The girl raised her middle finger. South Congress Avenue hardly resembled the street north of the river. Armpit looked out at the boarded up buildings, liquor stores, bars, and tattoo parlors. At night, the area would come alive with some of the best music in Austin, but in the heat and glare of the late morning sun, it seemed as if the entire street suffered from a giant hangover. There it is, said X-Ray. Smokestack Lightning was painted in brown letters on the smoky glass of a storefront restaurant located next to the Fingernail Emporium. Armpit could smell the slow-cooked meat as soon as he stepped out of the car. If they hadn't been there to sell tickets, he wouldn't have minded a sausage wrap or a chopped beef sandwich. He had missed lunch thanks to X-Ray. Hey, you better hold these, X-Ray said, handing Armpit the tickets. He hadn't seen them since the day they bought them. Once again, he noticed, this ticket may not be resold, clearly printed on the back. A bell on the door jangled as X-Ray pushed it open. Armpit followed him inside. Only a couple tables were occupied, but it wasn't noon yet. A roll of brown paper towels stood in the center of every table, along with various bottles of hot sauces. They made their way to the front. What can I get you? asked the man behind the counter. Various meats were on display behind a dirty glass window. We're looking for Murdoch, said X-Ray. You found him. He was a black man with gray hair and a gray beard. His apron was splattered with grease and barbecue sauce. X-Ray? Yeah, this is my partner, Armpit. Murdoch laughed at the name. Armpit, huh? I used to know a dude who called himself Burnt Toast. He played the slide trombone. You play an instrument, Armpit? Armpit wanted to tell him about the scorpion, but instead he just shook his head. Let me see the tickets. Armpit felt a little worried as he handed over the tickets to the glass case. There wasn't a whole lot they could do if Murdoch decided just to keep them. Murdoch looked him over. Row in. Not bad. 270, right? That's right, said X-Ray, and you're getting a bargain. Well, I don't know about that, said Murdoch, but I want to get to see my daughter one week in a month, so I got to make the most of it. When she heard Cara de Leon was going to be playing, it was all she could talk about. Hey, Wiley, you ever listen to Cara de Leon? Who? asked one of the few customers in the place. Cara de Leon. Never heard of her. Wiley wore a Hardy t-shirt and had tattoos up and down both arms. Go punch E4, Murdoch told him. See if she don't knock your socks off. He turned his attention back to X-Ray. I really do appreciate you boys coming all the way down here. When it's your own business, you got to stay on top of it 24 hours a day. I do it all. Cook, wash dishes, you name it. Armpit was still waiting, waiting for either the money or Murdoch to return the tickets. Wiley fumbled with the jukebox. He was a big guy and Armpit would not want to have to try to deal with him and Murdoch. Can I get you boys something to eat, Murdoch asked, on the house? Chopped beef sandwich, X-Ray answered right away. How about you, Armpit? He was more concerned about the money than he was about the food. The same, he said. You like your sauce hot or mild, Murdoch asked. Mild, said X-Ray. Armpit, the same. Kara's voice filled the restaurant. I'm not the kind of girl who's apt to settle down. No, I'm the kind of girl who likes to get around. Murdoch brought the sandwiches over to the cash register. He opened it, then took out $270, which he gave to X-Ray, along with his sandwich. Armpit felt bad about not trusting him. I see you looking at me the way you do. Just hold on a little longer. Just hold on a little longer, baby, because I'll get around to you. Murdoch laughed. Man, don't you just love her? She's all right, said Wiley. So what do you boys want to drink? Murdoch asked X-Ray. Next to the cash register was a large metal bucket filled with ice and soft drinks. Root beer, said X-Ray. Murdoch looked at Armpit. Let me guess, the same? Armpit shrugged. Did he tell you when to go to the bathroom too? Armpit smiled and sheepishly shrugged. And now that you got me in your arms, oh, I feel so soft and warm. There's only one thing I want to say. Armpit bit into his sandwich. He'd eaten a lot of barbecue in his life, but this might have been the very best. Of course, that might have had something to do with the fact that he now had all his money back and then some. Just hold on a little longer. Just hold on a little bit longer. 
hold on baby just a little bit longer and then I'll be on my way. <laughs>